This is my Israeli silver coin collection, some from the late 60s, most from the early and mid 70s. There's some bars and even an Olympic state medal, all kinds of stuff. So let's dig in. First one you have here is the victory coin commemorating the winning of the Six Day War in 1967. This is their mint mark. It appeared on their first five lirat silver coin minted in 1958. <coughs> Up here, uh, all these little booklets have, you know, the denomination, the purity, the quantity, and the size, normally uh, labeling where they were minted. Now, it says marked with mem. There's a special indicator on these. Some are marked with the Star of David, or Magan David, if you speak Hebrew. So, um, the mems are normally a lot more rare. Sometimes the purity level is higher, and I go specifically for those whenever possible. <coughs> So on the front here, you got the sword representing war and the olive branch representing peace. This very lovely spirographic design. On the um, reverse, you got the wailing wall, western wall, prayer wall, whatever you want to call it. The remnant of the last temple destroyed in 70 AD by Titus Andronicus of Rome. Significance about that is that it was the first time that Jerusalem had been united under singular rule since the days of Saladin. Now right here, you have the 1968 20-year anniversary coin. You got the city walls at the bottom, upper right. You can barely see the Dome of the Rock poking out over there. Upper left, the Israel State Seal. On the very top there, uh, the Mountain of Zion. Let's see the reverse here. I believe that this is a depiction of uh, the last temple, Herod's temple, because Solomon's temple had two pillars in front of it and crowns on top. And then there's this beautiful inscription going all the way around the edge. That's actually upside down, but uh, you get the idea. A lot of the coins have this on them. Uh, something about this is that it's hard to find these with the padded case. It's like non-existent. Um, even this particular little cheap case is very hard to find. I wish I could get a lot more of these. It's a very coveted coin. It goes at a high premium. It's a low minage. Now, pardon me for a minute while I try to take off this glove. <clears throat> okay, so next here, you have the 1969. And most of these are released on Independence Day. This is the Shalom coin. Almost all these are 10 lira. Right now, you notice this one is uh, 900, 20,000. Uh, same dimensions. Now it says that these ones with the mem are emitted in San Francisco. There's 40,000 circulated, 20,000 uncirculated, and these 20,000 uncirculated are marked with a cough. So uh, this is the mem coin. If you look at it this way, it's saying Shalom in like block letters. And it's got a little printing inside of there. And I really, really love this the helmet with the netting. And the olive branch, it's just really gnarly, cool case. The case is a lot different than the other ones. Uh, it's cool. I love it. <clears throat> now, this one, you got the 1970 Mikvah Israel. You know, Mikvah is essentially a ritualistic bath that a uh, priest takes when they're, before they do something like, you know, write the divine name. So, for example, when you're writing a Torah scroll, I think it's like 32 times or something, you'd have to take this little, uh, Mikvah every time before you write down the tetragrammaton, you know, um, the name of Hashem. So again, 900. Uh, we got 22.5 thousand on the minage of this one. It's kind of got this neat looking pickaxe looking thing or whatever it is on there. It's, I think it's something related to drilling, possibly. <clears throat> and then on the reverse. I think that's the parliamentary building and the uh, wheat shaft that becomes a uh, popular motif. So is the pomegranate. <clears throat> now you have the um, science-based industry coin, 1971. I love the color of this exterior case. And this is uh, the marked with mem. Now there's only 17.5 thousand of this one. And I don't know if that's, you can see the mem on the bottom right. Um, so, 
I don't know if that's representing a building or uh, Mount Sinai or what, but um, it's carved out pretty cool. It's very geometric. And then on the reverse of this one is actually one of my favorite designs of almost any coin I have. You got the gear and the spokes and this uh, swirly thing going on. And it's got a really cool convex, like, high relief effect on it. It's a very interesting coin. Um, I think it's kind of hard to find the case for this one as well. <clears throat> and moving on, this one has some quite special things about it. The 1972 Aviation coin. Again, marked with Mem. The ones marked with the Star of David are, um, have a blue background on them. And that's a depiction of a plane. Now this has a pamphlet with the explanation of the coin and everything about it and also the original postmark box from New York that uh, whoever had it previously received it in so uh, this is kind of neat to have these extra things with it and we'll pop this guy open since it opens up I guess I'll have to go this way 900 there's only 15,000 of this one Bank of Israel let's see if we can get to the uh, back side of this I'm having a hard time there. I really, really, really don't want to touch it. We're just going to save that one. That's going to remain a mystery because uh, I'm not putting back on the glove and having the possibility of fumbling this without using two hands. Okay, so this is the 25th anniversary of Israel coin. Now you can see they uh, kind of upgraded their uh, thing here. We got 41.5 thousand. The minage is significantly more, probably because more people were expected to buy it. Again, marked with Mem. You got a really nice, uh, this is like their constitution or something. It must be signed by Herschel and uh, Ben Gurion and some other prominent people. And you got the state seal, 25th anniversary. Now when it comes to 25th anniversary, we're going to move over to some bars here. So um, I got this one. It's the only uh, vertical one. It's got a menorah on it. And that's the uh, Motherlode Mint. You know, one ounce, 999. And then right here, and this is, I think, one of the more common 25th anniversary commemorative ones. United States Silver Corporation, one Troy ounce, 999 fine. And now this one, I really love. There's uh, some really special cool details in this. And this is one ounce. I don't believe this is a Troy ounce because it doesn't appear thicker, but it appears a little bit thinner, but the same width. But, you know, you got the Star David. It says Shalom there. It's got the Shofar Blast going on. <laughs> And this one is just blank on the back. There's actually one other 25th anniversary uh, bar like this that I know of that is pretty rare and it's extremely hard to find at a decent price, so I don't own it yet. <clears throat> now, um, the case on this is kind of trash, but it's got some very nice toning on it. This is about the revival of the Hebrew language. It's the 26th anniversary independence coin, uh, 1974. Uh, this Bears special significance to me because this actually, um, I'm sad that it's cracked right there now, even though it's not a mint capsule. This is the Star of David one. And the, the coin is in a lot better condition. The case has just gotten trashed over the years. I actually traded my father a pair of pliers for this, and it belonged to my grandfather. And I think he may have gone over there this year and brought it back with him because uh, he'd always bring back like coins from places he would visit across the world. And that's my very first um, silver coin that really started my entire collection. And then also, uh, in that same vein, let's see if I can secure this for a moment. Uh, some of this got damaged a little bit. I've been hanging on to this for many, many years. Uh, this was in the same trade deal with my father. And uh, it is a mint capsule of all the lower denominations, you know, um, and... With these, you can kind of see some of their things. There's a little card inside that explains what, you know, each little individual motif and the importance of it. You got a flower, menorah with the state seal, uh, the lyre, which is, uh, I think, you know, relating to King David, the writer of all the Psalms. You know, you got the uh, palms, the date palm. Oh, no, that got cracked. You know, those are the pomegranates, the wheat shaft. All these are copper nickel, except for that last one. 
And there is the um, denominations. Lira, because it's a single. Lira is several. Half Lira. Argorat. And Agora. It is singular. So that's that. Uh, these aren't very rare, and um, I wish I had more for the ones I have the big coins for. So moving on, uh, I used to have uh, three more of these, but these are all the revival of Hebrew coins. And these are actually uh, the Mem editions. So there's 50,000 of each one of these. I've had three um, extra of these. I sold one. Then you can see the Mem right up over here. Same coin. I like how it's kind of got this uh, like kind of polished proof cameo look on the fairly blank side. This is the same thing, slightly different case. Uh, the Pidgeon Habens. These are really cool. They fetch a premium. Uh, you're actually supposed to have five of them. Be and sometimes they're sold in sets of five. Now, this is a mem with uh, 45,000 pressed. And it represents the uh, five shekels that you uh, buy your uh, male son back from the temple with. So if you look on there, you can see there's the uh, five shekels right there. That's why a lot of times they're sold in five shekel sets. Now this has this like really nice, um, you know, it doesn't have the printing on the side. It's ribbed on the rim. So I would like to get more of those, but uh, they do fetch a premium and they go for a lot higher than uh, just the standard independence coin. And even throughout the years, uh, the mem design, I mean, not the mem design, but the Pidion Haben design, it remains the same, essentially. Now, uh, these are the Ben Gurions. Now, I have had like up to four of these. I gifted some to some friends. But um, these are really cool. Now, this is the uh, Sarah David one, and there's 175,000. So, this is actually commemorating the death of Ben Gurion, which is a pretty big deal. You know, him and Herschel uh, pretty much founded the country and made it what it was. He was the first prime minister, you know, essentially, or most prominent one. There's a Herschel coin from 1965, I believe. Um, I really want one. It's hard to find it, but you can see again uh, in this one, it's got this really nice polished proof look with the profile of his face, state seal, all that good stuff um, on the reverse. You know, it's essentially uh, the same as the 10 Lirat. These are 25 Lirats, and they're uh, 935 instead of 900. You know, and I like to collect these uh, a lot. For example, that one had a little bit of toning, I think, and this one doesn't, you know, but I always go for the mem. Or no, these are not the mems. Uh, these are the Star David ones. That's how you can tell. Okay, so it's got the small case here. Okay, now over here are the mem ones. I actually purchased these for the same price as Star David ones. Somebody didn't know what they really had. Uh, let's see, there are five there. I've actually had six of these, and again, uh, given them away as a gift. Now, uh, these ones seem a little bit nicer, and when you look at the quantity, now you have 75,000 instead of 175,000. So, you know, out of the 75,000, you know, I got five of them right here. <clears throat> again, uh, it's got the... You know, the ridge on the rim. And you can see these ones seem a little bit nicer, how it's like not quite polished on the background of his face. And, you know, I have some of these that are toned and some that are not toned. I really love the details in the menorah on this. Uh, if I didn't love them so much, I wouldn't have so many of them, you know. And I also bought these as an investment, so there are a few that I'm willing to part with, of course. Okay, so uh, this is the last 74 coin that I have. Um, I really don't care too much for these Hanukkah coins. Uh, the purity level is significantly lower. The only reason I really got it was to complete the 74 set. So let's see, is these, so these are 500 silver, the diameter and weight are slightly less. And instead of 26, it's 20. Instead of uh, 36, it's 34. These have a quantity of 125,000. Now they come out with an independence coin, like a uh, 10 lirat, and these are also 10 lirat. Same denomination, but less purity, smaller coin, Hanukkah coin, and they change like the other larger ones literally like every single year. Most of the time they have a menorah on them. Uh, this one, if you look 
closely, it does have a menorah in the center there. Some have the uh, old, you know, what they call Jerusalem menorahs on them and stuff like that. But because of the purity and the size, uh, they don't go for as much. So I really try not to collect these. Now we're going into the 1975s. Now you can notice right off the bat uh, that this coin is significantly bigger. All right, and this is a uh, David marked one. So you look at this now, um, instead of being 36 millimeters, they're 40. And the weight, instead of being 26 grams, it's 30. But the purity level has dropped from that, from 900 to 800. All right, and the quantity is also higher. Now what they did is essentially, uh, because of the purity dropping, they upped the weight and size in order to compensate for it. So when you go mel value wise, essentially it's the same amount. It's just less pure. All right, but these ones have a very lovely, like Kabbalah mandala kind of thing going on. Um, they have a really cool design, you know, and that's why uh, I got them. But I didn't realize the purity drop until then, and after the the years following, it stays that way. So this is kind of where I cut off the collection uh, year-wise because I want to keep them uh, as pure as possible. You know, like these Ben-Gurions are 935. And uh, some of the Pedanya Benz and the Victory Coin. You know, the rest are primarily 900. Um, so now this one is essentially the same thing, except in this case they're a little harder. Uh, they, they made an error, and they actually sent me the Pinyon Haben. Yeah. So uh, this is a very big come up, 25 Lirat, and it's a marked with Mem Pinyon Haben. But when you read the card here, it says it's the independence coin with the lower purity and the lower, uh, you know, the larger size and a quantity of 72,000 uh, 72, because the Mem marking, the other one was 98. And, you know, uh, these are made in Jerusalem. But also, uh, one thing I forgot about when it comes to mintages and where they're made is actually in these Ben-Gurions, in the Mem Ben-Gurion, if you look closely there, it says that minted at the Swiss Federal Mint, Bern. And it's distributed by the Bank of Israel and distributed by Israel government coins and metals. Is, these are made in Switzerland, right? If you look at the standard one, is that these are minted at the Israel government mint Jerusalem and issued by the Bank of Israel. All right, but they're nine through fives. See, so you know, like these were minted out of Israel, and so was that one. Some of them, not the one I have, in San Francisco. All right, so over here's this is the. Um, same one, but the Mem one. It's got this crazy blue toning uh, partly on the corner there. Or is this another David? Actually, that's yeah, another David. So I bought two Davids, and I was trying to get a Mem. Or this says Mem. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Yeah, that's marked with Mem. So I wanted it, um, two Mems, and I actually got a pigeon on a Ben. So that's actually a score. Okay, so now moving on. We're getting towards the end here. Okay, so this is 935, 26, 37 millimeter. You know, uh, it's back to the standard of the older coins. And uh, Olympic 1984 state medal, because it has no numismatic value. Therefore, it's a medal. And they have all kinds of cool medals. I wish I could collect more. They're very rare. Like, this one has a maximum quantity of 10,000. So there could actually be less. So, on the front, you got the uh, Los Angeles 1984 Olympics. Uh, that bears special to me because uh, that's when and where I was born. You know, you got the Olympic crest up there with the menorah. And then if you flip this over, it's kind of an abstract depiction. It took me a while to kind of figure out what's going on here. But apparently, uh, t I think that's two guys playing basketball. And one is going to launch and one's going to block. If you can kind of see that now, the ball and the heads and the uh, embraced figures. 
So that's what's going on there. Uh, this is extremely rare. Um, super high premium, clamshell case, really neat. Now, uh, there's only a couple things left. Let's see, uh, these are not actually Israel minted at all, but you got a Ten Commandment bar. It's written in English, not Hebrew. But uh, these were banded together in this, I love the reverse, but this rubber band toned it all crazy. So, you know, I wish the whole thing could get toned or something, but it was banded together. This one was on bottom. And then um, this one was on top. I got this at Nevada Coin Mart. And it toned the top all crazy. I wish it had been the reverse on this one. And it has a very beautiful reverse also. That's a 1997 mint capsule Hanukkah coin. I don't know who made it. But it's pretty cool, and they have them for all kinds of years. And um, they're hard to find in general. And as the years go back, they get even harder to find. And just got a couple little cheap um, Israeli coins, modern ones, that uh, my buddy found working at the liquor store and brought home when we were living together. You know, a couple Israeli cents. I think the other one's like a nickel or something. Kind of a Fertilise looking thing there. And um, that's it, really. I'm not really uh, looking to part with any of these too much. You know, I could part with some of the uh, 1974 or 26 anniversaries, the two in the case. I really don't mind about those. And maybe two or three of these Ben-Gurions, because uh, I just have so many as investment pieces, you know. Um, and I really don't care too much for these ones here, the 75s. But I definitely want to get more... Um, Fidion Habens, the other aviation coin, and definitely I want more than 1968 20-year coins, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So anyways, that's that. Those are those. I hope you got a little bit educated, gave you some ideas, and, um, you know, enjoy yourself. L'chaim.